Hey all geeks, welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing about the important topics that you must do in the current research area or the general science for your part A of the ICMR 2020-21 syllabus. So in this series, I have tried to incorporate the latest news around which can help you in attempting questions from part A. So in Currently, I will be discussing about topics based on GM crops, on the COVID-19, genome sequencing, and certain miscellaneous findings. Okay, so there will be four videos. I request you all to watch all of those. And if after those you feel that I should incorporate some other topics as well, then do let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want me to do something on vaccines, that is those that are available, the type of vaccine, the duration, then give this video a like and spam the comments down below that you want that particular video. So without much further ado, let's get right into it. So firstly, what are GM crops? Everyone must be aware GM is genetically modified crops. Now, one thing you need to know that there are 24 food crops that are genetically modified, which include all of these. So remember 24 food crops, okay? Now, in India, if we go to speak, the only GM crop that is permitted is BT cotton. So only BT cotton can be grown and sold in India. No other GM crop has this permission. Now who gives this permission, etc. that we are going to see further. But why is permission not given? Because of certain concerns based on human health and the environment. So GM crops may be allowed, may cause allergy in many individuals. They can also be responsible for gene transfers. Also, they are hazardous to the environment because these may interfere with the wild population and may outgrow them. And also there can be a loss in the biodiversity. And therefore, GM crops have to be carefully monitored and released. Now, who does all this monitoring, the release, who gives approval? This is the committee called as GEAC. What does GEAC stand for? Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. So it will allow commercial release. Now, GEAC is established under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So they look into the environmental angle and it is this body GEAC is actually responsible for the approval of proposed GMOs. They are field trials. Okay, so only through the permission of GEAC can field trials be done. And recently GEAC has approved the field trial of this BT brinjal. Okay, so this BT brinjal is now being tried on the field and it has been approved this year itself by the GEAC. Okay. Now, uh, this particular BT brinjal is a transgenic variety of two indigenous varieties that is Janak and BSS 793. Okay. It contains the BT Cry1 FA1 gene and it is developed by the Institute of Plant Biotechnology along with the ICAR. Okay, so this is a very important news in terms of GM crops in India. Now, again, another thing is which has happened for the first time that India has allowed the export of genetically modified de-oiled soya cake. Okay, de-oiled soya cake is basically used as a raw material in the poultry field feed industry. Now, actually, soya cake is the price is going on rising due to which the people are very troubled. And therefore, the GEAC allowed the import of GM de-oil soya cake. Now, these imported material are only allowed in two ports. That is the port of West Bengal and Navi Mumbai. Only do, these two places will receive the GM crop. Next, another uh, new news is that the Agarkar Research Institute in Pune have mapped two genes, that is RHT14 and RHT15 in wheat. Now, what is special about these two genes? So, the speciality is that these genes are associated with better seedling vigor and longer cleoptils. Now, uh, 
basically if you use these genes you can reduce the residue burning and this allows deeper sowing of the seeds now how will deeper sowing help so basically it will help to take advantage of the residual moisture in the soil under drier conditions okay so these are the current researches based on your gm crops if you want to see the current researches and stuff based on covid 19 click on the link in the end screen or down from the description i'll see you in that video bye